Today I have some farmhouse rustic decor DIYs. Keep watching! I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. We're going to start off with some of these little metal caps that came from the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Hopefully you can find these. I think they've pretty much been everywhere. And I'm going to use some pedestals that I already had that were thrifted. So one of them is a spool from something that came from Target originally. I think it was like a string that had clips on it. And then the other one is just like a little threshold, something like that, cupcake stand. We're going to use some of my antiquing wax, of course. And I've got some wipes here, any type of wipe you want. And I'm going to use these gorgeous little pumpkin glass containers. I'm going to use this just to make a circle. And I have a battery operated candle. This was thrifted. It's skinnier than the ones at Dollar Tree though. I have some Harvest DIY words. I was very happy to find these. They have a good variety in that little pack. And then this came from Dollar Tree, guys. This gorgeous, that reminds me of the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Y'all remember that? Okay, I'm going to start by adding some of that antiquing wax onto my wipe here. We're not going to do the top. This is going to be our top. We're going to leave that alone. But everything else is going to get a good wipe down with that wax. So I'm just protecting my table with a little scrap of cardboard paper. Going to go all the way around the bottom and around the edges. I love the beautiful color this gives. If you don't use a, a, like a wet wipe, and you use a brush, it's going to be a much darker, almost opaque finish. You really won't be able to see any wood grain through it. And I like the wood grain, so the moisture from the wipe gives just enough, you know, it, it's just enough to kind of water down or weaken that stain. So you can see the beautiful wood grain. Okay, so I've even done the underside of the top, but I'm not going to do the top because it is a wax and I don't want it to interfere with the glue. Okay, now we're gonna start by, of course, on these tags, you gotta take your little hanging signs or hanging price tags off or whatever they're called. And then I'm just gonna look here, I'm showing you everything that comes in this pack, each one of these little words or phrases. I'm just trying to get an idea of which one I wanna use because we're gonna make a little hanging sign. A lot of variety in this pack. I mean, look at all that that comes in one. That is wonderful. You can do so many things with those words, too. You can paint them. You can stain them. Um, you could probably decoupage them if you're really good with a pair of fussy scissors. Okay, I don't want to confuse you with this. Just follow me here. This is about five and a half inches across, right? But it has a ruffled edge, so it's going to be hard to trace. So this one has a nice smooth edge. It is smaller though by half an inch, you can see. And that's just a thrifted bucket, but you can use whatever you have. If you got a dinner plate or a saucer or something you want, not a dinner plate, but like a saucer or something, you could use that. So what I'm doing is just cutting around, kind of giving myself about a quarter inch all the way around. This is probably not gonna make sense until we go further along, but then I think it's gonna click with you. So just keep going around there, trimmy, trim, trim. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. Just make sure that you have enough room on the sides there. Because I want this piece of fabric to be dimensional on my tag, then we're gonna have to give it some type of a little lift or another layer. So I'm using this foam board that was thrifted, but you can definitely get a big sheet of foam board at Dollar Tree. They have black and white at my store, so you can use either one, it really won't matter. And then I'm using my craft knife, also from Dollar Tree. They come in a three pack. So you just keep going around there and keep your hands out of the way. You do not want to lose a finger. It's very sharp. So I'm trying to watch where I position my hands as I'm cutting. And it's not perfect and I don't mind that. That's okay. It's supposed to be crafted. It's supposed to be handcrafted, even when you make little mistakes. I'm going to use some of my glue stick. Use any brand that you like. I've had success with every one I've tried. I've never had a glue stick to fail on me. Just go around your edges. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges and all the way down. Nice smooth coverage. You can get the purple ones, which is what I prefer, but I'm out right now. 
and those will show you exactly where you've laid it down, which is perfect. Okay, so do you see why we wanted to leave a little extra around where that foam board was trimmed? It's because we want to make a nice smooth edge by tucking it and gluing it. So I'm putting on my finger protectives that happen, finger protectives, oh my goodness, finger protectors, yes, there's the word, that came with my new glue gun that I've tried. And you're gonna just put that around that foam edge. I'm using the cool temperature instead of hot because, you know, styrofoam or, or foam with the hot, hot glue is kind of a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm using the cool temperature setting on this and I'm just gonna go around and press it down. If you want to show me some love, you can buy me a coffee. Look at the link in the description box. Thank you. Continue going around your edge. Just like this, a little bead of glue and just rubbing it downward to try to make it straight. And the little grippies on these finger protectors are perfect. Okay, so there we go on that. And you really wouldn't have to go and trim all this up if you didn't want to, but I'm kind of weird about this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go around and cut my excess off. And also when doing this, it shows you if there's any areas that need to be, you know, you need to pay a little more attention to, maybe add a little more glue to. So I'm just gonna go around there and trim that all up. There we go. So this is gonna be our next layer on top of our little bottle cap metal sign. Also, if it was turned upside down, it would look like a tart pan, wouldn't it? There's you some ideas. Okay. Hot glue. All over that. By the way, I used my cool glue and I used it on this metal and it has not popped off yet. And that was a week ago. I'm a little behind. I wanted to make sure that I was lining the print up with my hanger so that it won't hang crooked. And I'm going to choose the welcome fall sign because I'm ready. Today's September the 1st, the day that I'm recording this voiceover, and I am so ready. I'm going to do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to add a little bit of that on there onto that wipe and squish it around in there good. And then start laying it down all over my little wooden welcome fall wording. I'm just kind of pressing it down, rubbing it. Perfect. You don't want to use tissue or cotton balls because it's going to shred everywhere, but the wipes work great. Okay, so here's the top, unfinished, and we're going to set this right on top. This is going to give us a little riser. You can fill in these holes with like a little piece of um, aluminum foil if you want to, but the way I cover it, we're not going to have to do that. All right, to hold this down so that nothing I put on there, if it's breakable, will fall off. I'm going to use a little Gorilla Glue and hot glue. The hot glue is going to give us a quick, quick fix until the Gorilla Glue has time to sit up. So now I'm going to add the hot glue. You want to put that on second because it uh, dries faster than the Gorilla Glue. So you don't want your hot glue to dry before you get your top on there. Now to try to make it in the center, I'm standing up and looking down over my project. That's why you see this angle. I'm looking down through my viewfinder on my camera. Then I'm gonna use my little electrical insulator on top to, to weigh it down. Okay. Back on the little bottle cap while that's drying. And I'm going to add my little hello, welcome fall. Excuse me, welcome fall. It's crooked right now, but you can see I do move it. I will fix it. Scoot it. There we go. Okay. I want to give you some options for this. If you would like to add embellishments, you can take a little metal leaf, like the ones that come on some of the pumpkins and some of the signs from Dollar Tree. You can take a little hop and some leaves or any type of seeded stems to embellish it if you would like, but I like mine plain just like this. You could also add a bow if that's something that you wanna do. I'm kinda of digging it just like this. Be sure you follow me on my social media. I'm on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, look at this riser. She is complete, with an exception of her embellishments. So now I'm gonna take some of this ribbon. This was thrifted. 
This actually may have been a piece of, this I think came from my neighbor. She went through her craft supplies uh, over the summer sometime, I think. And she gave me like two boxes of ribbon and all kinds of good stuff. So thank you, Angie, if you are listening. You can see that I'm using it. Protect your fingers and then I'm gonna put a dot, little dot of glue in each one of those ridges, right in the bottom of each one, dot, dot, dot. And then I'm gonna take my finger and press it Try to center it and press it down into the glue dots. You're going to want to work fairly quickly with this because hot glue on metal dries very quickly. So you gotta, you gotta keep moving. Now, in order to not bore you to death, I have sped mine up. I really don't move that fast. But this is what you do. You wanna try to keep it in the center of each one of those ridges and go all the way around. I hope that all of my viewers and subscribers who have been in the path of Ida are good. I hope that you are all safe. I know we had company from Louisiana that fled and came to Southern Alabama to stay with us and we were so happy to have them. I think the kids just thought it was like camp. They just loved it. They loved seeing their cousins and you know, we thought we were safe. We thought we were in the clear and I'll be darned if a tornado did not come and hit our property and we had a huge mess. So I'm behind a little bit. I appreciate your understanding, your patience and your support as we work through getting the cleanup and everything done. And um, yeah, so there's that. Y'all are in my prayers. There is our little riser and I want to add a little bow to it. So I'm just going to do this simple bow. You've seen me do about a thousand times like a little shoelace bow you're gonna grab your ribbon make two little ears twist them around one another and then tighten it a little at a time so that you get your little ears the right size excuse me for being out of the camera there and then trim your tails up the way you want the tails to look you don't have to put anything on yours. I think it finishes up the uh, the tray nicely. I think it's a cute little rustic and almost cottagey feel because of the bow and the little you know added ribbon. It gives it a little more femininity, and I like that. I love the color of this ribbon. It's like a tan, kind of a very muted or I don't know, like very muted gold or tan color. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. I may be struggling a little bit through this video, but hey, I'm here. I'm here and I'm doing it. I don't want to be out of the picture for too long. I know you, we need a constant flow of inspiration and, and hope right now, so I hope I can bring you some joy. Now, if I, I have had these little candle holders since last year and really didn't know what to do with them. Um, I had lots of ideas, but I couldn't settle on anything. So I got an idea that I think will be will be a cute idea. I am wrapping the same ribbon that we used on our little riser around the top of this. I wanted to try it out first and see what it was going to look like. If you've got a wider ribbon, maybe an inch and a quarter or an inch, whatever the depth of that top of that jar is, then you could always use that if you wanted to do that. But I didn't have anything in the color that matched what I had on my little riser that I made. So I'm just going to use this and just wrap it around and around and around until I get to that top. Same thing is gonna go here is with the metal. When you're using glass and hot glue, you gotta work quickly. If you don't wanna use hot glue, you could always use Gorilla Glue for this. You know, the difference is it's gonna take longer for your project to set up, which will give you kind of um, a little bit of time where you have to wait. And with hot glue, especially for purposes of doing videos for you guys, it gets the project done quicker so that you can see how, you know, to get it made on your own. I hope that made sense. It did in my head, but I don't know. Once it got to my mouth, I don't know if that made sense. But yeah, you know what I mean. You get what I'm saying. So then you want to just trim off when you get all the way up to the top. I try to do mine at a slant so it won't fray and it just gives it a nicer, more finished look, I think. And I am liking the way that looks. I have done this before and I'm going to do this again to help keep my rounded items from rolling while I'm crafting with them. I'm just going to secure them down by sitting them on the silicone tips of those clamps and then I've just put my 
my um, what I use as a paperweight <laughs> up top to hold that little pumpkin still while I'm working on it. And of course I moved it and made a mess. I'm going to make a little swag to go on the top, if you want to call it a swag. I'm going to, I've just chosen these pieces off of a random pick that I thrifted and I cut it down. It was actually, I think there's like probably seven leaves on the little branches and I just cut it off because it makes more sense to scale on the small item to have a smaller, um, smaller area to work with, you know. It just needs to be more in proportion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm taking some floral wire. I've added a little bits of, it looks like a seeded grass or something there. Little seed pods. I've wrapped them together and I'm gonna place them right there. Now the advantage of the ribbon being there is that this little greenery is gonna stick nicely right on there. I wanna do it on top of where I already had my ribbon finished, you know, where it ended so that I don't have any rough edges poking out. I always try to have my finished items looking high end. I, handcrafted is great and everything. That's fine, totally fine, especially for like a rustic farmhouse, that type of a, a feel. But I really want it to look neat because if I've got to look at it and I've got a bunch of bad ends hanging out everywhere, it, it'll drive me nuts. That's just my personality, but you would do whatever works for you. I've just taken more little bits of um, things that I had left over and just added that around there. It, I think the colors are complimentary. They look great with, with what I already had going on there. And you'll see um, something I've noticed with, my, with glue, hot glue in particular, is that when you use a cool temperature, you get a lot more of those little webs. No big deal. Just pull them off. That's what I do. And I have been told by some of my wonderful viewers and subscribers that if you use a blow dryer or a little heat gun, it will take those little webs right off for you. I don't have either one of those things right now, so like I've said before, we're going to fake it till we make it. I'll just pull it off and make it look like I spent that extra time. I appreciate all of y'all so much being here. My channel is growing. I get so many nice compliments. You know, it seems like our community is just made of the nicest, most supportive, understanding people. You don't get trolls on here. You don't get people who are negative and ugly. I mean, it's a crafting channel. We all do our own thing. We craft it to our liking, right? That's me playing with the webs. So I appreciate y'all, and I wanted to take the opportunity to tell you that. Again, I really, it, it matters. This is our channel, right? We do this together. Okay, so that's how it's going to look when we put it up, but I will show you our finished look. And these are our three items that we did. I love my super adorable backdrop that I have going here now. I've changed around my crafting space, and I'm really loving it. Really love it. I'm going to show it to y'all in the live video that we do, hopefully. That'll be coming soon. Okay, so here we go. Nice, nice. Is the bottle cap sign just hanging there whoops that should have been edited out sorry about that and then there's the little candle jar little pumpkin candle jar and here is the little riser now keep in mind you do not want to use a real candle that's dangerous see what you can find that is a faux candle thank you so much for watching i appreciate you stopping by and i'll see you again soon Bye.